Sup y'all, the name's Tactone, and this video is going out for anybody who gives a shit about Ooh La La as much as I do. And if you've seen my videos, you know that I love this game. However, this is going to be a different type of video for a very important reason. For this video, I am going to highly encourage all y'all to leave a like or a comment letting me know how you feel on what I'm talking about because this is something that I have been trying not to talk about for legitimately five weeks now. I wanted to make sure that I understood everything and I wanted to just double check to see if the company who's running uh, Ooh La La aka XD Global was going to do something about this because a lot of players have been concerned for quite some time. Now I know what you might be thinking, Tectone this game's only been out for about five or six weeks. Well, that's not the case because this game has been out a lot longer uh, for the Taiwanese servers. So, there is a monumental issue, in my opinion, that has been addressed in a kind of uh, push it away, we're gonna stick to our guns type of way because th the company is well aware of this issue, but I wanna know how y'all think. Uh, believe it or not, I actually really care how uh, y'all feel about this shit. So if you could let me know whether you're with me or whether you're against what I'm saying, once again, I'd greatly appreciate it. So let's talk about what the hell am I talking right now? And just for some visual aid, uh, I'm going to let this run and and see, see how things go. Just for a little bit of uh, extra reasoning for, um, for you guys to understand where I'm coming from for this. So, toys. A lot of y'all are going to unlock that uh, when you get a little bit past level 50. I think it's 51 or 52, somewhere around there. You're going to start unlocking toys. Uh, and at first glance, as you can notice, I'm already dead. At first glance, they seem like a fun little addition to give you some pretty neat bonuses. However, they are actually, in my opinion, in some cases, a lot more important than your skills themselves. So what this whole video is going to be about is if toys are more important than skills, why on earth can we not change them for our teammates? Because if we can't, for a lot of fights, you're gonna be stuck and you're gonna be helpless until everybody's online. And at the end of the day, this is an idle game and requiring your entire teammate or requiring your entire team to be online in order to play an idle game well i don't know what type of demographic that would be to aim for so now let's talk about let's talk about all the toys why i think they're so ridiculously important and then i'm going to address the main counterpoint that was considered the official response when this issue was brought up earlier and well once again just know that everything that i'm saying is coming from a place of passion i love this game i straight up love this game i got multiple accounts going non-stop i got all my buddies into it i made a goddamn youtube channel i've been advertising for it for over a month dude if there's anybody who's gonna love this game it's gonna be me which is why you know some people who are a little bit lesser connected i want to know how y'all feel so once again keep in mind in this boss this would be our game state if i could not change the toys for the other players okay because the builds are optimized but the toys however are not so just keep that in mind as we're talking about this year okay so toys if you're on island one and if you're on island two you probably think hmm i don't really know the toys seem fine to me it's not really that big of a deal well, unfortunately, this is the main reason why I want to do this, because I want to fix this issue or get this issue even addressed before y'all have to experience this, because you're going to get to Island 3 and you're going to get to Island 4 and you're going to start noticing that bosses legitimately have abilities that will AOE one shot your entire team. And then they have abilities like this boss right here. That single target, one shot, your back line, unless they have some ungodly amount of HP that I still can't attain if I go like 3-2, three, 0-3-2 two, three, two on a Warlock, okay? So, maybe they want me to progress for a week, but for now, let's talk about, well, what, what are toys going to do? What are, how are toys going to solve this issue, Tecno? What, what could a toy possibly do that can change this? I mean... What, what, does a, does a toy just make you immune to death or some shit? Uh, yes. So, 
Bone Ankylosaurus, the most important toy for you to get built as soon as possible. So let's talk about him. So what what is he what does he possibly do? In case you can't, in case in case you can't see. So six piece set. Before next skill cast, immune to one fatal damage. It can only be triggered two times per combat. This means if you were to die to an ability, negate it. This is an amazing ability because it allows you to play around bosses that just have gimmicks to one shot the entire team so that way you can coordinate this toy in order to get around that now i know y'all know that if you've been playing this game as actively as i am being like shooting a discord dm to somebody and being like hey dude can you change your bone ankylosaurus to slot two that way we can get past it sucks turns out people are busy turns out People play an idle game because they want to be idle. Dude, nobody's going to be like, hmm, I'm really looking for a game where I want to be on nonstop. Because if they did, they'd play some shit like Summoner's War. They'd play some shit like, I don't know, whatever another popular <laughs> game is. What? What's a popular game? Azure Lane, maybe? And people at Fate Grand Order, I guess? I don't, dude, I don't know. But regardless... This is not a game where people are like, hmm, I really want to spend all of my time being active and engaged into Ooh La La. Now, the beautiful thing about Ooh La La is, is that if you do want to be active and progress, you can do that because you yourself can make a difference. That way, get this, people with variant different types of play styles can enjoy the game at the same rate because the active players can make up for their idlers and their idlers can help their active players by getting on once a day and just doing their upgrades and it's an equal give and take and it's a beautiful relationship but when you don't allow the active players to be able to play with the idle players that's going to cause some separation and some issues and a lot of conflict of interest and it's going to cause a divide because then the actives can only play with the actives and the idols can only play with the idols but then the idols are going to be forever trapped because they're all idling because hey that's how they want to play the game but they can't because they don't know what they're doing and that's okay because we want to have casuals in the game look i love my wife I love her to pieces. She gets on about two times a day. She has the goddamn time of her life with ooh la la. Just being able to know that once she works her fingers to the bones at work, she gets to come home, collect her little gems, collect her skills, upgrade her stuff, and still feel like she's the part of my team. But dude, I don't have the heart to message her when she's at work and be like, hey honey, can you change your bone ankylosaurus? No, because I'm not a dick. And that's not how she wants to play and that's not how I want to play. And trust me, I know I'm getting a little emotional, but I want this to get fixed because I love this game. And I know that if you're watching this video, that you love this game. And in frame, if you're watching, I know that you love this game too, sweetheart. So, it's just tough and not to mention there are certain characters where like certain toys need to be on certain abilities like for example black moblin has to be on soul seal so when you goof around and you change all of your abilities if you go right here on skill slot when you move the ability it does not change the position of the toy which blows because for example if i needed to have an interrupt go off first and drag my soul seal down to slot two for my teammate well i couldn't do that because then they're going to lose 50 percent damage of the snapshot off the black moblin and they're going to be a giant pile of garbage compared to what they could be so now once again let me just talk about the main comment that was given by xd globe allegedly speaking of which take everything i say in this video with a grain of salt as always i don't want to be responsible for any shit <laughs> somebody's like oh we didn't say that just take this with a grain of salt the the official response that i was told um was they want to encourage collaboration and people being online and that's all well and good. Yes, I would want people to play my game too. But there is other ways to do that. There, there is a, a lot of other ways. And I'll even give some counterpoints. Off the top of my head. I literally... Off the top of my head. For real. So, 
it, I don't think it's important to have the main collaboration and people being online in order to swap some skills around and then get off. I don't think that's a good way to do collaboration. I think a fun collaboration and people being online type ordeal is to have reoccurring events every two to three weeks for great prizes, cosmetics, all that jazz that require all four members to be online for optional rewards, optional rewards that do not affect the game state. That way, if your team wants to get some cute little pets or some cute little costumes, they can do so. But if they don't, it doesn't obliterate their progression. It just makes them lose an opportunity to look cute. Hey, that sounds like a pretty good idea to me. And sure, that might take some extra resources from the company. But hey, this game's doing pretty good. So I'm sure some extra resources to hire some people to make some cosmetics. Also, speaking of which, please God, cosmetics. Also, new video about some potential leaks coming very soon. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. If you're here already, Jesus Christ. But yeah, I mean, uh, trust me, I get where they're coming from. I want people to play my game too, but at the end of the day, there's better ways to go about it than make this be the preferred uh, the preferred way of people to get on and be active with their teammates. And once again, this also alienates people who have differing schedules and all that jazz, and it's just it's just tough. Look, Anybody who's played Ooh La La, and I'm going to end the video with this and then one of the main reasons why I wanted to talk about this. I'm going to end the video with this. Everybody who was playing Ooh La La for Island 1 and Island 2, I guarantee they had an amazing experience. So why, when we get to Island 3, why does it have to change? Why now that we require toy synergy, why can we not adjust it? Why not make Island 3 an elevated version of Island 1 and 2, which means just adjust more synergy as a solo carry player or whenever your team's online, you can all do it together. But when you're not, still have the solo carry available, which is very fun, but you have to be even smarter. Why do we make it now where the moment you get to Island 3 and Island 4, you need everybody online at the same time, otherwise you can't progress. Because that is not the same game that I fell in love with. That will, that will not be the same game. It's not. Because that completely changes the dynamic entirely because... In my opinion, one of my favorite things to do is carry my team solo. It's a blast. It's so fun. You can do that for Arena. You can do that for all of Island 1 and Island 2. Why on Island 3 does it change? One of the biggest reasons why I've made this video. For anybody wondering why I'm being a big old salt lord, I'm really not. This is all passion. Trust me. It really is. One of the people who helped me the most in this game actually reached out to me the day I started playing it because they were familiar with what I do on YouTube. The name's Spicy Pudding. You might you might recognize the name Spicy Pudding. Um, they've made some of the best community guides on the official Ooh La La Discord, and they say, hey, Tactone, if you really care about this game, I want to let you know about this issue. And he told me all about, you know, the issues on the Taiwanese server that people were having with toy synergy and all that jazz. And I was like, okay, I'll look into it. If I'm on your side, I'll make a video. Five weeks later, I can 100% confirm I'm in Spicy Pudding's side, and I do agree that changing Toy Synergy now before a lot of players realize it is a great idea. And once again, tons of comments as well. So once again, thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, all that jazz, and just supporting the channel in general. I greatly appreciate it. So with that, I'm going to end the video. So, <laughs> hey, just a little bit of passion, some heated, volcanic, magma passion from your boy Tecto. Uh, I will be uploading videos for another game. It's not because I'm angry at Ooh La La. It's just because I want to look at this other new game. Uh, so for anybody who's going to be like, oh my God, Tecto ranted about this shit and now he's making videos about a new game. Don't worry about it. How far will I go with a new game? I don't know. If it's good, a while. If it's not good, eh, I'll drop it. Uh, for right now, Ooh La La is great. Keeping it. Also, cannot wait to talk about these leaks. Uh, that will be the next video. I am... So goddamn excited because one of the things that I've wanted the most in this game has potentially been leaked. So I will get on that right now. For now, I'm going to start editing, get this video uploaded. So as always, I've been Techstone. Y'all have been great. Hope y'all are having a damn good one. And as always, said that twice. Peace.